Hi, welcome to tutorial number 24 for CSCI 130, Introduction to Programming here at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. In this tutorial, we are completing, we will complete the, um, uh, the car payment calculator that we started on the previous tutorial. And this is what we have so far. So we were about to go into the implementation of what the figure 9.18 line 19 it says we're adding on the list um, box the title or the header months and monthly payments so let's 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 do the following so so once we clear we say list box one dot items dot add so we want to add string and then that's the headed so it's going to be months and then we saw previously how is that we can concatenate so maybe we say well what's the point of concatenating well maybe we we, sh we shouldn't concatenate but let's see how that is going to look so we say months and then monthly payments there then we close and let's see how that looks so let's let's see so so on here the point is look that when they are inserting this give you the impression that this is a table you see that this we put in that string and then and then there is some space here and then this is like the second column and we're not actually working with a table so if I leave it just like this we press F5 and then I click calculate so I got it like like that so I got months and monthly payments so I need something like uh, that, that can say oh I need to have some type of space so it's month and monthly payments so in the book they suggest on that line I think that's 19 that this is months and then we're concatenated and then there is control charts that tap so we tap between the two strings so let's do that so let's, let's close these two strings so this is another string over here and then in between we concatenating so this is the symbol to concatenate and then we say control uh, charts I think that's what they have it there control charts that tab and uh, so charts so that means characters tab and then we concatenate it with that so here we need a space over here so now let's press F5 now when we click calculate so now we got that space between those two and uh, we don't want this to be repeated so so we got most of the code now now we need to be able to um, execute the part when we're calculating the monthly payments for two three four five years so for that remember we're using the function visual basic function PMT so and again we're using the code provided in the book that is a good example so we're done with the figure 9.18 and then uh, on up to line 21 so now here they first gonna compute you see on 24 25 and 26 down payment so down payment well I think I think we did that already we got that information I think the only thing that we don't have is that interest divided by a hundred let me see if we got that so I got interest no we don't have that so interest is divided by 100 why well, remember that in the calculation you got five percent interest when you do the calculation you actually do five divided by 100 which will be 0 0.05 that's what we're gonna need okay now the loan amount that makes sense like 29 and it's gonna be whatever is the full price minus the down payment so let's do the same thing here so here let's insert that so let's say the loan is that how I call mine loan equals price minus down payment there okay so that's the loan 
now something else that I have on line 30 the monthly interest is the annual interest divided by 12 so monthly interest that's the, ver the way that I call it equals interest divided by 12 okay that makes sense okay so we got that information so now let's go and see what's the next part so now from 33 to 47 is where we had the do y so it says while years less or equal than five why because we're doing remember year two three four and five so we wanted to stop at five then we're gonna do the following so we're gonna have a do while years less or equal to phi and we hit enter and look at how loop is added for for the for the application so now months that's the one that we're going to be applying it's going to be whatever is my variable years because remember it's going to be displayed as 24 months 36 months 48 and 60 so it's years times 12 okay so now let's go back now that's what we got on line 35 on line 38 that's when we actually going to use the function payment so the one that is going to compute the monthly payment so the monthly payment again comes from calling PMT with the monthly interest the months and the null amount with the negative so it's a negative because it's a loan so that's how we're going to get the monthly payment so let's do that so the monthly payment equals PMT and then we open parentheses and we know we need uh, three variables so we need the uh, again we need the interest months and amount so we need the monthly interest we need the months and amount so then comma months and the loan amount okay so we have it so now what we need is this needs to be inserted into the list box so we need an statement just the one that we had on here this is inserting something but this is going to insert something for two three four and five so this is going to be doing something four times you see that makes sense is that four times let's go back over here in the example one two three four right it's going to be four times so then we're going to have to say list box one dot uh, items dot add and we're doing the same that we did before so now what is it that we want to insert first so we want months and the monthly payment and then we need that the space in between right so we're going to have uh, months concatenated with the control charts that tab is concatenated with the monthly payments okay so that's the main part so we're doing this now we're gonna need something to stop to stop the loop at five well it something that I mean years remember initially is two and we haven't changed years so if we don't do that it's gonna be always two 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 so we want to change from two to three to four to five and then that's how we want to stop so when it's something like a some type of a counter so we go back over here so we're right here this is the loop so look we're done with lines 38 and 39 now 42 this is when we're actually adding that's what we got there already 
now something that we don't have is the stream format so that looks like money so we're gonna do that and then the other thing is years incrementing years on line 46 so I'm gonna add the stream format at the very end so here we're gonna say okay years e years plus equals one so change years by one so now I'm gonna press F5 and see how that looks um, I'm gonna say that uh, we got a loan of 15,000 we give a down payment of 2,000 and the annual interest is 4.5 and then we calculate and then we got that so now it doesn't look nice because we haven't done anything with the formatting there so let's go over here and then here we're gonna say string that format then we open parentheses and we did that in previous uh, tutorials so we got those quotation comma so here we got in curly brackets the zero colon C for currency there and I think we got what we need so we're gonna press F5 one more time seems that I got something I missed something let me see probably got something open okay we forgot here another parenthesis remember with the stream format we opened that parenthesis so we need another parenthesis over there and the other parentheses classes the open parentheses of the add so we need to be careful so here enter so now it should be fine okay so I'm gonna press F5 one more time so 15,000 is the price of the car we're given now 3,000 for down payment and the interest is 4.3 then we click on calculate and this is this is what we got now um, it seems that um, this is displaying that that the payments will be this I don't think in the textbook they got the parentheses for negative numbers they may be updated that in the in this version so let's see yeah, I don't see that so let's see what happens if we change the negative on payments so let's 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 execute it one more time so we got if I so this is this is okay I mean this is just to say I just wanna check on so zero and then the interest is one percent calculate so I mean what it means is 24 months you have to pay per month 421 okay 421.02 and 60 months you want to pay 170.94 and with the parentheses I mean that's a negative that you have to pay I don't think it that makes a difference if we put on a payment loan I think here I miss the negative so putting that the negative there and I missed it I mean that's the part that I missed when we are not in class on our five so let's do that again and that should make a whole different story so 10,000 this is the 1% and then I click calculate and now you see there are no negatives on there so it says 421.02 it was like, like before but it's not in parentheses so I was just missing that little negative over here in the loan okay so now this is perfect so now you know how to post it the tutorial now is too big to show you how to post in D12 you know how you save the file you do some sample execution so now I'm posting mine bye